Hey freaks, welcome back to Frequencies Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles Episode 8. We just arrived in Flying Battery Zone, so here we go. And uh, I apologize for uh, being late on these next uh, episodes. There were some technical difficulties with my computer, but hopefully I've fixed them. And we can enjoy some more Let's Plays. Uh, Flying Battery Zone is probably one of my least favorite uh, levels for this game. Uh, it's it's creative, yes, but it's kind of slow compared to the other levels. And uh, it's more like, it's more platforming than running, as you can see here. I mean, we're not going fast at all. Here, not even moving hardly. Um, so yeah, I, I try to get through it as quickly as possible, but that's kind of difficult. No, we don't want that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to do since it's, I just said, it's, it's slower than the others. It's more like Mario, it, not Mario's pace, but it's, I feel like it's more Mario stage than Sonic. Whoa, whoa. Here, I usually can make that in one go. When I was a kid, those always looked like cookies to me. Those are cookies of death, because they can kill you if you're not on the right spot. And I'm gonna jump. Get the rings. And, and we'll leave those. So. Jump. And, oh, don't touch that. That Usually th those look like, I guess, coin... Not coin. Oh my goodness, what did I say coin? Ring! Ring box things. Uh, but that one last back there would be uh, enemies. Right here. Uh, when I was a kid, I did not know how to go back on, the, on those things. And I realized you just have to press the left button to go back. And uh, yeah, it was a stunning revelation at the time. Go, come on, move! Thank you. Now, we could... Ooh, that's a good one. We want that. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. So, what is... If you guys have played this game, what is your least favorite stage in this game? As I just said... The one we're playing right now. Both acts are probably my least favorite. It's just it's just so slow comparatively. Like even I prefer uh, Hydra City Zone compared to this one. Well, that's a good one. Come on! Oh yeah, 260. Let's see if we can get this other one. Uh, come on! Oh come on! Hurry up! Ah. Uh, Oh, that was a big ring. Uh, uh, whatever, we'll just forget it. Okay. So yes, now um, we could go down here. Well, we're going to go down here anyway. But up there, if your tails are knuckles, you can actually go a different route. Oh my gosh, this stupid spike! I can't believe I forgot about that. Now I get invincibility. That could have helped. Get up there. Stop. Anyway, yeah, um, I, I don't like this level because of the lack of speed for Sonic. However, it is kind of fun with Tails and Knuckles because there are uh, al there are several al uh, alternate routes you can take, which are pretty fun. Oh, stop! Go back! I don't want to go down there. Speaking of alternate routes, if you just wait here, you can jump and jump and jump. Jump all the way up here. And it's not necessarily a better route, but it's just different, which is nice. Nice that there's variety. I should be, yep, extra life right here. Not that I need it. Probably do need it. These rings, ride the cookies. 
Ooh, see right there. If you were, if I had stayed on there for just maybe a second longer, I probably would have got squished. Whoa. I'll try to go up here. Uh, it's kind of difficult. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. Sorry about that. I have to wait now. Or more cookies. They look like cookies you'd find in the Emerald City of w Wizard of Oz. They've got kind of a emerald thing going on in the middle. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oh my goodness, I do apologize. Uh, come on. I wish you could speed things up. Alright, three times a charm. We can get this. Or I can get this. You guys are just watching. Come on. At the time I'm playing this, you're not even watching me. Come on. And jump! Come on. Oh, okay. I said jump, but I didn't jump. <laughs> I kind of confused myself there. Alright, we want this definitely. More rings! Definitely good to have so many rings when you are able to become supersonic. But we can't right now. And actually, it's going to take a bit to find the first big ring in this stage. Now that I think of it, uh, unless I'm unless I'm missing one, but I'm pretty sure the first one that you find is near the end of this stage. But I could be wrong. Oh come on, come on, come on. yes! All right, let's get out of here. Okay, jump. Wait, what? Oh. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> hey, look, it's a giant battery. Like, flying battery. Oh, get up there! Oh, no. Ugh. Now I have to wait again. Come on, get up there. Alright, here we go. Yes. Yep, there we go. I thought this was kind of a cool part of the level. Like, you're not really sure where to do go, so you have to wait for it to blast open. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh no! Ah! My shield! No! Get out of there! Get out of there! Uh, I don't like being so vulnerable. I want my shield back. Uh. Alright, come on. Look that song's even impatient. There we go. Whee! And stop, 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 There we go. Over here. And we find the big ring. Alright. We can get this. Just one more. Can't believe I lost in the last episode. I think I already said this before, but I like how um, each bonus stage is different. It's not the same each time, so it's more of a challenge. Whoa, we're going backwards. Turn. I also like how it speeds up. Alright, where do I go? Over here. So close. Oh, it's getting fast. Okay, uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Huh? Huh? Where do I go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! I don't know how I didn't turn. I I totally pressed the right button. Oh! <sighs> wow, that just, that totally ruined the whole thing. So anticlimactic. Ah, oh, now I have to find the other one. Now I have to play it the normal way. Who wants to do it that way?
Oh my goodness. That just. Mmm. Oh! <laughs> there were so many rings! How many was that? Like, it was over 450. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I really hate these guys now. Zero rings. You gotta be kidding me. Get up there. Oh my goodness. What is wrong with me? Uh, oh, there I go again. The other way. Oh, we're all, we're back here. Do this again. Oh, okay. Thank you. Such a tease. <sighs> Maybe it's because I'm so used to having uh, all the emeralds in this part that I don't usually take caution to all the hazards around me, and I just plow right through it. Plus, I'm faster, which it makes it a little easier to get up on platforms. At least we have a shield. Stop! Don't get in there again. That's where all the badness started. Ah, ah, no! <laughs> get out, get out, get out! Oh, man! I think this game heard me that I didn't like this stage, and so it's now doing that! Doing exactly that! Making me pay for my insolence. All right. Well, we don't have to go down because that big ring is gone now. We just go this way. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, I have to fight the boss the regular way now, which actually is okay because this is probably one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. In the entire set of two games, this all you have to do is just walk off. Look at this. It's too easy. All right, come on. Give yourself more brain damage. Good. There you go. Oh, let's get up here. And jump. Now, there should be a... I think it's an electric shield. Right. No, nope. come on. Come on. Come on, right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll take it. Now, actually, on the other side, there's a fire shield, I believe, in the same spot, just mirrored. Sweet. Alright, act two. Here we go. Let's try not to screw things up now. What? Here we go. Um, this act is... Come on. Uh, don't get hit. Thank you. I was going to say, this act is a little bit more fun, because it is faster, but it's still got the platforming act aspect. And I know all Sonic games have that, but I I'd rather have more, I guess, just straight... Uh, straight shots, I guess you could say, where he can just run a long time. Instead of this, taking the elevator. Alright. I love that double jump. It's so handy. So nifty. Now we could go that way. It's an alternate route, but we're, just, uh, we're gonna go this way. I actually don't know which one is the alternate route. Because that one comes up first, and you're like, oh, let's go that way. But you can actually keep going down. So now I'm thinking this is the alternate route. Should play elevator music on that on those things. Lols. There we go. Okay, now that thing looks like a enemy, but it's actually not. And I, I think from... I think it's in Sonic 2. There's an enemy that looks like those... And it comes in, down and grabs you, and you get hurt. But in this one, they don't hurt you. And we could go down there, but we're going to go up this way. Oh, hurry up. So I think that was kind of clever, if uh, if I'm right, from Sonic 2. That the uh, developers... Oh! I should have kept pulling down. If the developers made it purposely like that, because you think when you first play it, you come up to it, and you think it's an enemy. Woo! We're going fast. You think it's an enemy, but it's really not. You're actually supposed to go that way. Let it pick you up. Ability, come on, get up there. There we go. Yeah, see, th this act is better than the first one. The first act was a slower, more platformy one. <laughs> There's another glitch. Uh, this one, of course. Uh, when I say it's platformy, I I don't mean to say like all the other levels aren't. I'm just saying the other levels are faster platformers. I guess I'll say. 
do not jump down there. There we go. Yeah. Careful. Oh, I can't believe I missed that emerald. Oh well. Actually, I can only think of one other big ring uh, in this act. Woo, that was close. Jumped at the right time. Here. Well, this looks familiar. Some parts of these, uh, I guess some parts of this act is very similar to the first act. And yes, we did not want that checkpoint. I do not want to chance it. Oh, come on, get up there. Okay, this is where the other big ring is. Okay, come on. I have to get this. Can't believe I messed up. Hmm. Oh, come on. Go that way. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to concentrate. You know it's only the first part. Oh, why did I turn that way? Okay. I don't know why I turned that way. I saw the gold sphere. Or yellow sphere, whatever. Alright. Come on. Get this. Oh, careful, careful. Turn. Turn. Okay. Should be over here. Okay, here it is. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my gosh. That was close. I thought that was it. And, and turn. Oh, there we go. Finally. Now, why? It took me so long. Huzzah. Sonic caught all super emeralds. When I was a kid, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? I was like, and my siblings weren't watching with me, and I was like, I was I was actually alone playing this, and I was like, what's going to happen, what is it? Is Sonic going to be hypersonic? And I was like, what is that? I've never heard of that. And I actually think this is the first game that it ever references hypersonic. So uh, when I was a kid, um, I thought to myself, oh, I wonder what hypersonic is going to look like. Maybe he'll be look like supersonic, but it'll have like the invincibility stars uh, going around him. And uh, I told that to my siblings. And uh, they're like, oh, yeah, maybe maybe it'll look like that. And so uh, when I was a kid, it took me forever to get uh, the Super Emeralds. Like, uh, it took me maybe half the game to get them because I was just so excited to finally beat those uh, the uh, stages. But anyway, yeah, so here's Hypersonic. And uh, when I was, like I just said, when I was a kid, um, I thought maybe he has the invincibility stars going around him. And when I saw him for the first time like this, I was like, whoa, I was almost kind of uh, correct on it. It was a total guess. These are not the regular invincibility stars, but uh, I think they look better. And I didn't think to, uh, or I didn't think about him having that kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, echo effect or or something. He's apparently going so fast he has uh, images of himself behind him. Which, I don't know why they did that, because he is the same speed of Super Sonic. In this game, anyway. Not, probably not in, like, uh, other games, or even maybe the comics. I don't ever read the comics. Uh, but, uh, if he's ever re referenced in the comics, I'm sure he goes faster. I think I looked up on Wikipedia one time, uh, uh, the the speed differences between uh, supersonic and hypersonic not the not this character but there's that those actual terms and I believe hypersonic was like I want to say like three times as fast as supersonic speed I can't remember if that's true or not get up here um, 
when you're playing this, if you want to stay in Super or Hyper Sonic, um, you want to make sure you have enough rings because there's not a lot of rings within that, between the first part where you first, uh, you don't really fight Eggman, you just dodge his laser. And this part, because uh, your rings will drain down and there's not really that many to pick up along the way. Eggman, or not Eggman, Dr. Robotic, he looks like a doll. Like a, a children's doll when he's not getting hit. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Sweet. So that was uh, Flying Battery Zone. Thankfully, we're out of it because I, I really don't care. I, it's, it's an okay level. I just prefer the others. Sandopolis. Alright, I'm going to end the episode right here. So thanks for watching and tune next time for Frequencies Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, Episode 9. See you later.